Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to March monthly, general monthly uh, reading for Leo and it's 2023. Wow. Okay. So I first want to thank each and every one of you who have, sh excuse me, who have subscribed and who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. And any of you who are wanting a uh, private reading from me and we'd like my private readings list or you want to know the availability of my recently uh, my recent book or you just have a question or a comment send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com okay Leos let's first start with we have a couple of major uh, major transitions from uh, one zodiac sign to a new zodiac sign and what's going to affect you all of you Leo's because it has to do with your opposing sign which is Aquarius and it's a big planet it's Pluto Pluto is a very intense and it goes to the very root of anything that is blocking you personally and your personal mission and who you truly are. And so that's a big deal for you Leos. And that Pluto is currently in Capricorn and it will be making an introduction into your opposite sign, which is Aquarius on March 24th. And that will be for about two and a half months. So from March 24th, through June 11th, 2023, and then it retrogrades back into Capricorn for the rest of the year. So you get a little introduction this beginning, this end of this month, and then next month, uh, next year. And I believe it's in the middle of January, 2024, which it will go back into Aquarius for most of the year. And then, but it will retrograde for another month and a half next fall of 2024 for a month and a half and then it will be in Aquarius for good so that's a big deal and then Saturn is also it's going out of your opposition sign which is Aquarius and it is going into Pisces on March 8th so that's another big deal and then the full moon will be on the 7th of March and that will be in Virgo 16 degrees 40 minutes and then the new moon will be on the 21st in Aries 0 degrees 50 minutes and then we have also in Aries all month long is Jupiter and it begins at 11 degrees and ends the month at 18 degrees and then we also currently have uh, Venus in Aries through the 16th of March and it is in a it is beautifully sextiled to Mars in Gemini and Mars will be in Gemini through the 25th and while Mars and Venus are in a beautiful compatible compassionate gentle sextile that you could be having up your opposite sex relationships, friendships, romantic relationships, new friendships, relationships could be very, very uh, beneficial and positive around that time. For, so that will be from now, the 1st of March through the 16th. Okay. So Leo, let's get, let's get to finding out what is going on for you this month what you need to know and if this monthly reading is not right for you that is perfectly okay because your natal wheel and your planets and the transiting planets are all they they change and so 
that's why some months your moon, your rising, north or south nodes of the moon could be more significant for you. So you might want to check those monthly readings out. Okay, so for Leo, whoa, look at that. <laughs> it flipped over. 31, that breaks down into a four. Peace. Peace. I got you're desiring peace, you're going into peace, something about peace, peaceful situations, and maybe also you're going to be desiring to put yourself in and take time out in nature, in peaceful surroundings for yourself because there's a lot going on. And again, that's going to matter having with the transiting planets and how they're hitting your natal wheel and your natal planets. So Pluto, again, is definitely a big one that you're going to, going to want to check out, all of you. And then there might be some others for some of you. But peace, peace is a big deal. And I also was drawn to the bridge, too. So also wanting to, to um, bridge connections or how do I say this? Um, to bring peaceful solutions to unpeaceful or chaotic or, um, what's the word? Uh, well, whatever situations or um, relationships that are not peaceful right now, you're also having the desire to bridge that and so that they can become peaceful for, for some of you or all of you and they're in different specific ways and different relationships and at different different extremes too I'm getting and I'm also getting that when you're in when you put yourself in those peaceful situations uh, surroundings and it's just you so that you can think about that or maybe that's where some of you are going to go to think about how to resolve and bring peace back into a relationship or friendship or family ship. And that's when you're out in nature, when you are relaxing, because I'm noticing I was drawn to this gal here. She's just sitting in the peaceful all by herself and just taking in nature and allowing the information and whatever solution that she is desiring to come to her. And that's what I'm seeing for you, whether you're male or female, Leos, that that's when you're going to get those, that information for you to make peace with yourself, to make peace with others, whatever that might be. Again, it's going to be different for all of you. Okay. Number three and the past. So just in general, you're wanting to make peace with the past or someone from your past or whoever that might be, family member, friend, romantic partner. But you are desiring that to now to you're walking towards that. This, this person, this lady is walking towards that light of making peace with the past. And so it might start um, this month. You're going to think about it. You're going to contemplate on it and whether you take action right now or not this month it's going to be different for all of you i'm getting so this but definitely you're going to start the process this month march 2023 and then 35 which breaks down into an eight and it's voyage and you might have cancer in your chart you could have your nodes of the moon, south node, north node, moon, uh, well, any, uh, your rising or your sun sign um, in Cancer as well because Cancer got this same voyage uh, card come out. And so, yes, you're, and what I'm getting with this past, wanting to make peace with the past so that you can start something new for yourself. You can take a new voyage. You can go on a new adventure. Um, 
go down a new path for yourself that you're desiring that's better for you now and maybe i'm getting also some of you have already just recently taken care of that past so you're already walking away from that and into or you will step into this new adventure for yourself this new voyage this new um journey new journey i just got some of you it's going to be a personal journey of expansion of your mind of your soul of your emotions your uh, physical some maybe you're gonna also it's physical physical journey spiritual journey or all of the above And I'm getting it's going to be much smoother sailing. I was drawn to this, the water here, and it's very, it's just, it's smooth. And there's there are no ripples, there are no, it's just gentle, and it'll be much easier sailing this journey that you are embarking upon this month, whatever that is. And see, again, you're going away from the mountains and the rugged, this harshness, whatever it is, could be emotional harshness that you're leaving because you're, you're, you've taken care of the past or you are taking care of the past and, and bringing peace, bringing, bringing peace to that because when you bring peace, you bring peace to yourself inside and so you can relax and you can have that soul, that deep peace with inside yourself. It's been very rough for some of you and I'm getting emotional, emotional and possibly physical. And that makes sense because if you have, if you're churning emotionally, then that will eventually um, come out in the physical and show itself physically. but it has all physical ailments. Ailments, injuries, physical, are, have begun, have an emotional um, basis. They are, they have their beginnings in your emotions, in your thoughts, and then in your emotions. Thoughts truly are things. So what we think, whether we realize it or not, subconscious thoughts, like our south nodes, if you are familiar with that, that's in astrology. And if you don't already know, I'm an astrologer of 28 plus years and I specialize in the nodes of the moon, which is given to each one of us. Our nodes, our south node is put in our subconscious. And so we don't know it, but it's a program. And it's something that feels like if we go about life in that specific way, then we will get all of our needs met but it's not correct. It's something, it's a blockage in this life. It's a program that you have to become consciously aware of first before you can go beyond it. Okay. So that is, I'm saying that because someone needs to hear that. Everything I say, I just say it. So it, it might not apply to all of you at this time, but it will apply to some of you, absolutely. And if that is an interest, then definitely get your natal wheel done. Find out your nodes of the moon because that is what will absolutely bring you peace. Definitely. And it will allow you to consciously put your past behind you, something you didn't even know that you needed to do. And it will be amazing, amazing. And you will be off on a brand new journey. Your, your journey of who you truly are, truly are. Very beautiful, Leo. Very, very beautiful. And maybe some of you have already, are, you're in the process of that. And so you just keep going. I'm very proud of you. That is outstanding. And you are and will be receiving that peace this month. Okay, so let's see what... 
um, astrology planet or astrological sign, zodiac sign, is assisting you this month with this transition for Leo, Sun, okay, here we go. Pinnacle, okay. So this is number 36, and and it uh, breaks down into a nine. So nine has to do with truth, root truth for you. And so what I got when I, because this is midheaven and this is pinnacle, and the pinnacle is when we're talking about a natal wheel, the midheaven is at the very top. You have the wheel right here. It's at the very top. It's at the pinnacle. And what I just, what I received when I first saw the card and I read the word pinnacle is you right now are, have reached or you are reaching this month the pinnacle of, and this is whether it's positive or negative, um, emotion, emotionally. So if you're not peaceful right now, you are reaching or you have just reached the pinnacle of your stress, your distress, your disease in your body, in your mind, in your emotions. And so that which is telling you or um, very strongly in, um, encouraging you to take care of whatever hasn't been taken care of in the past yet. Something has, has you in knots and it is um, wreaking havoc on you emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically. So that's one. That's a pinnacle. So it's forcing you or it's directing you very strongly to um, shift, shift what needs to be shipped, shift the blockage, take care of that so you can go beyond it into peace. Okay. And maybe again, you've already been working on this. Because again, this is a general reading. And so those of you that are even working on this, then you are coming into the pinnacle of peaceful times, beginning of peaceful times for yourself. And that's what you're going to get to see. And then something new, a new journey is opening up for you. So that is outstanding. And again, however it feels, wherever you are at, this is a positive, even if it doesn't feel positive, of course, it, um, it takes those painful shifts, those painful, um, very stern, tumultuous experiences to get all of us to shift our attention onto something that is beneficial. So, and, and taking responsibility and taking care of whatever this past that is blocking you and has been blocking you, it's never fun. It's always painful. And, but there is something positive to, to get out of it. And that once you get that positive, you find that baby and you take it, then you move into peace. Okay. And that always makes us wiser and more compassionate, whatever it is, but it, it, it increases us in a very positive way. And we take that with us forever because that's who we truly are. Okay. So let's, let me see, let's get with the, um, tarot cards. Let's get into detail to see if we can find out what this past thing is that you've either, you are taking care of, you have just taken care of, or you um, are in the process of being encouraged to take care of. Okay, for Leo, what details of this do they need to, to 
to be aware of this month. Page of Swords, the Death card, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so let me take a look at that for a minute. Okay, I was also drawn, I'm going to take this bottom card. I don't normally do that, but I'm being called to, to also take this bottom card, which is the Three of Pentacles. And what I got immediately from the Three of Pentacles was, of course, to put it up front because there's some type of information, incoming information from someone of um, significant authority in your life, um, some type of truth that has either just recently come to you or will be coming to you this month, Leo. And it will enable you. And again, maybe this has happened just in the recent past. Again, this is a general reading, but okay. So first, if you haven't, actually, if you have or haven't, you're either, if you've already received this information, you are now sitting, or you will, as soon as you receive this information, in the Queen of Cups energy, which is very emotionally stable, because whatever this information, incoming information is, it is going to assist you in your emotional peace, in whatever has got you tied up in knots from the past. And again, I'm seeing communication too. It's not just, see, this person, this male, doesn't have to be a male, but maybe it is a male figure. He is telling, he is communicating something to these two people here. And what I'm seeing is, so you will be involved in the communication. So it's not just receiving information, which you'll be receiving information, but you're also, you're going to be responding or you're going to be talking and there's going to be communication between you and someone else or other others. Cause there are three people here. So it could be, uh, again, it's going to be different for all of you. But what I see then is once that is dealt with and see, this is under the past. So, you're discussing something about the past that that needs to be cleared up. Obviously, once that is taken care of, then you are in this beautiful Queen of Cups energy, which is very, very calm, peaceful. Your emotions are peaceful. You're relaxed now. You are very receptive. You're very loving and compassionate with yourself and with others. And, and I'm just seeing a real, a complete change around from what you were to what you are once this is dealt with and your true loving self at peace. You're just, again, you're just at peace. You're sitting, you're relaxing and this is, um, your emotions are relaxed. And so anything physical that's come through, if anything physical has come through in your body, that will be able to dissipate as well because it's coming from your emotions. Whatever's not taken care of, I'm just getting that very strong. Absolutely, absolutely. And this could be something that uh, has never been able to be taken care of. And depending on, you know, whether it's been in the last several months, years, or your whole life, uh, it will depend upon the severity, possibly, of your physical ailment. Okay but you are in control of that. That is, that is a very positive thing. You have the ability to turn whatever this um, is around for yourself. However long it's been, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
it's beautiful and and it's opening up it's open up for you it's it's ready for you to do this and with the page of swords i see that's exactly what's happening the page of swords is looking back at the queen of of cups and this three of pentacles and see the page is Page is new energy, and so you're gaining something new, or you've just gained something new. And the swords have to do with the mind, has to do with your thinking, your thought process, your belief system. And so once you discuss this, because this is definitely in a discussion, it's tangible. It is the people you're, you're talking, you're right there, uh, looking at them or you're talking to them on the phone or whatever, but it's actual discussion, communication, face-to-face, -face, verbal, conscious communication. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you're not only the, in that puts you in the uh, Queen of Cups energy, you're also I'm, I was looking at the clouds. I don't know if you can see that. Clouds are clearing up. So this is clearing up your mind. A belief system, maybe an old belief system that is, has been blocking you. and But that once this discussion happens and you've taken care of whatever this is from the past that was unresolved, once it's resolved, it clears your mind too. And so it's not just your emotions. It's your thoughts thinking process, something new is able to be started, a new thought process, a new way of thinking. And again, it just clears, clears you up. And again, thoughts are things. And so as soon as that gets cleared up, this is also why your emotions then are cleared up. And you're stable, you're balanced, you're at peace emotionally. Because what literally happens is the thought, whether you know it consciously is, if it's something subconscious, unconscious, or something conscious, it, it sends out an emotion or it sends a signal to your heart and then your heart responds with an emotion and then that emotion then sends out a chemical into your whole, throughout your whole system in accordance to that specific emotion. That's why the subconscious and unconscious uh, programs must become conscious so that we can take care of them because we don't know they're, they're controlling us. So, but it looks like you are, you will, or you have just recently, again, um, taken care of this, whatever this is from the past. And you've put it to death. Look at that. And when you put something to death, that's a that's a positive thing, whether it's a belief, whatever that is. You've um, you've fixed it. You have cleared out that energy, so it's not blocking anymore. That's what putting to death is. So the, any emotion, any thought, emotion. Um, Again, it all works together. Um, that enables you to move forward. You're putting to death a blockage. You're putting to death a program. Something that's not working. Something that's been hurting you, harming you, and you didn't know it. But you will this month. And the Wheel of Fortune. Then you get to move forward again on a new journey. You get to go the direction that is now right for you, where you previously were, previously were blocked, now you're not anymore. You're in peace, joy, new journey, new life, new energy, new vitality. Wow. And I'm seeing you strong and courageous, just coming out, a, just a winner, very strong, very wise, very um, stable, very stable. 
That is beautiful, Leo. So that is outstanding. So I don't know what this is again. You will know, you will know. That's, that's very, very beautiful. And I know this is deep and that is very, this is a very serious thing. And I'm being drawn back to say about Pluto going into Aquarius. So I would even look, you want to look at your natal wheel and see if you have any planets in Aquarius. Do you have your rising sign as Aquarius? Or because that is, that would be conjunct to the Pluto that's going into to be in Aquarius. And then you, the opposite again is Leo. So anything opposite, anything else you, however many planets you have in Leo, and then anything you have squaring Leo or Aquarius, because it's squaring, it, square, it, it squares both. And that would be Taurus. If you have any planets in Taurus, that squares Aquarius. That also squares Leo and Scorpio. Major, major. So that is definitely, if that sounds right for you, then you definitely, definitely do it because that's where you're going to find the information. That's where you're going to find this unconscious programming, whatever it is, and you will be able to put the pieces together. And again, if you would like me to do your wheel, if, and I would definitely, you, you would need a private reading as well. But um, if you want to do it on your own, I do. I will um, send you your natal wheel and your nodes of the moon, no charge, no charge. So any of you who that sounds right to, send me an email with your all of your birth information, including your exact time. That's very essential to have your exact time. If you don't have exact time, get as close as you can, but let me know. Let me know. And then, because that will leave room um, and that will give me a heads up so that I can look at your natal wheel properly and give you the correct direction if you do not have your exact time. Okay. Wow. Well, Leo, that's big. And you are starting a huge journey or you have been in a huge journey and you, you're transitioning. Either way, you're transi transitioning and shifting into serious mode, either serious peace out of strife or serious mode to get to the bottom so that you can have your peace. So that is all I have for you, Leos. Until next time. I hope this helps you. Until next time.